Dan? We'll get on to the madness of the game in a second, but first go over Martin Box came off, looked like a pretty serious injury. How's, how's he done since then? Yeah, I mean, at the time, as you say, um, when he went in for the challenge, it was a brave challenge. Well, yeah. uh, it was a last-ditch challenge. Uh, he committed fully to it, and at the time, it did look quite serious. Um, but fortunately, the physios have assessed him, and he's up and on his, on his feet. Um, and it seems it was more of the shock of the tackle. Um, he had a click in his back, so I think that obviously shocked him mm. a bit. Um, and then precaution comes first and when we're talking about yeah, the players' backs. Um, it's important that um, we brought him off um, just as precaution, but yeah, he's fine. Obviously, that's great news that he's doing OK now, but does that sum up his character? I mean, it was a brilliant challenge that he put yeah. in. Oh, he's all or nothing, um, Martin, as are, as are all the boys. Um, and he's, as I say, he's fully committed to coming back to the 18s after spending some time with the first team. Um, and that's his character. He's, you know, he's, a, he's a really good young player. Getting on to the game now. First half an hour, we matched them up. We pressed them high and we really were giving them a game. And then mm. for 15 minutes, it just sort of seemed, we seemed to lack something. What, what mm. was the difference in there? Quality in the final third. Um, game plan was to get in their half, it was to put them under maximum pressure, to, to sustain pressure, um, so we didn't really focus on a slow gradual build up, it was more can we sustain them in their half, um, and I felt we did that, I think I felt we created chances, um, Oakham had a wonderful chance with, with the goalkeeper, um, and another day that goes in, um, but as you say, after that period where I, I felt that we had them on the back foot, their quality shines through, um, um, we have a bit of a wobble. Um, we're getting at half time we still felt that we were in the game um, even though again we, we, we were four down mm. uh, we still felt that we were in the game we, we had a calm conversation in the dressing room we readdressed the plan um, and you know, we came out a lot better in the second half what was the message at half time because the boys came flying out of the blocks then. at first it was to stay calm you know, first it was to stay calm. We were four down at a Premier League ground. It would have been very easy for the boys to, to lose their heads. But we um, we spoke about spending a little bit more time on the ball, being a little bit more patient, um, trusting each other a little bit more, um, having that extra pass and that little bit more calmness and care in the final third. And I felt they, that that's what, exactly what they did in the second half. Ultimately, in the end, we have been knocked out. But looking back on the competition as a whole, mm. you must feel proud of how your boys have really taken the competition by the grasp of the neck and made a name for themselves at this club. Yeah, but we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed every single round. We've had many different challenges throughout the, the, the whole tournament. It's the, you know, it's, it's the joy of this tournament. It's um, both the senior side and the youth side. You get an opportunity to play all different kinds of teams at all different sorts of mm. levels, and that's exactly what we've done. The most pleasing thing for me is that we've had an opportunity to um, string some games together at home. That's given the boys, our boys, an opportunity to experience what it is like to play at the Hive. Um, the bonus of that, we've had Oakham Chime, he's gone on to make his debut um, and feels very comfortable. And I felt coming here tonight, um, the boys, yes, it's a Premier League venue, um, but the boys didn't seem overall when they came off the bus. They were really calm um, when they first arrived. And I think that's because we've spent so much time in the tournament. We've learnt loads along the way. I'm immensely proud of every single one of them, all the staff, all the players, everyone that's been involved in this, uh, this tournament so far. But sadly on the day we've been, we've been knocked out by a very, very good Bournemouth team um, with some very good uh, individuals. Um, so credit to them and their staff. And, uh, you know, we wish them all the luck in the, in the next round. I mean, does that show how far this team has come this season to push a team like Bournemouth right to the wire? Absolutely. I, I think Bournemouth, at the end of the game, will fully un know that they were in a game. Um, you know, because we really, in the second half, we really did make a game of it. Um, we stretched them. And the pleasing thing is, is the first team, the manager puts a big emphasis on um, keeping the ball and valuing possession. And I think in the second half, um, we showed good character. We came out and we handled the ball incredibly well um, and created a number of chances where we, you know, we could have gone on and actually uh, got something out of the game.